your hard work has paid off you have been promoted from an individual contributor to a new manager as much as it is extremely exciting it can be very overwhelming too so where do you start this is Neha Narona. I'm a soft skills trainer, a happiness coach and a life skills teacher and I will take you through a few steps and tips on how you can manage your team effectively if you are a first time manager. One is to focus on building trust. Research shows that when employees are trusted by their managers, they end up putting in more efforts and are happier at their workplace. Schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings with them. Understand that what is it that they are looking at by working in this company. If they want to grow in the company, how is it that they want to be supported? So when you are invested in their future, then they are likely to be, and I'm saying highly likely to be invested in the company goals too. Transparency is also very, very important in order to build trust. So be transparent with your employees, with your team members and ensure that they are totally comfortable with you while they are at work. The second most important step is to offer timely feedback. Now you do not want to give them feedback only when there is an annual review or the project has already passed. Daily feedback or weekly feedback, whatever works for you and the team, do that. It's very important for their growth and it also helps you again build trust between the team members and yourself. Start delegating work. You are no longer a doer of the task. You are now a coach, a leader and a mentor to your team and you need to help them succeed. You have to fight the urge of doing the task yourself. Instead, start investing time in your employees to make them understand how the entire task needs to be done. You may feel initially that you are wasting time, but the next time the project resurfaces, it is only going to help you and your team to work very effectively. Acknowledge change relationships. It might be difficult to work with people who were once your peers as their boss or their leader, but it is very important to acknowledge this relationship. Maybe you can put it in a very courteous and a nice simple way saying that I really value our friendship. However, I need to put the team interest first and this is what I expect out of you. So these are some ways you can be very clear with your peers, with your friends. I know there was a time you might be gossiping with them about work, but you have to acknowledge and make it clear to yourself and to your peers that you have now moved a level above what you were doing earlier. Don't feel discouraged at any point in time. Whenever you feel discouraged, it is very normal to feel that way. But remind yourself that you were promoted for a reason and work for that reason towards that reason. Address and tackle difficult situations in a very smart way. If your team member approaches you with a problem, practice active listening and empathy and work in a collaborative manner towards a solution. Reassure them that you are there for them to work in the best possible way. So these are a few ways in which you can become an effective first time manager. You are not expected to know all the answers, but take it slow, trust yourself, trust your team and always be on the lookout to develop your leadership skills. If you would like to build additional leadership skills, if you would like to hear from me on tools and techniques on how to live your life in a powerful way, join this community. We share a lot of techniques and very, very important information on how you can play the game of life in a very successful manner. Thank you for watching and I will be back again with some more tips that will help you to live a powerful and a happy life.